and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray. O Lord, the gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time. As we've been gathered here, O Lord, let your spirit guide us, and we'd like to submit the rest of the time in your mighty hands, O Father. Please take complete control over us. As we give thanks to you, O Lord, let your name be lifted up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us sing song number 152, Allah send it.
Let us sing song number 170, Marida Donis.
chosen part from the Bible for the responsive reading is taken from Psalms 119, verses 105 to 112. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteousness. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your love. The wicked have said a snare for me, but I am not straight from your precepts. Your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. Let us read the last verse together. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. Amen. Let us turn our pages to the Apostles' Creed and let us read it together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at the point of Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Let us examine ourselves and say the confession prayer. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have heard and strength from the ways of the worship. We have followed to march the delights and the desires of our own hearts. We have affected against my holy laws. We have left unknown those things you ought to have done, and we have done those things you ought not to have done. And there is no help in us, but thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Miserable offenders, share them, O God, confess their faults, restore them their protection. According to the promise, they declare unto making in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Let us say the Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive the trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, as we continue in praising your name, O Lord, let the wisdom and knowledge be within us, O Father. O Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us sing song number 123, Take the Name of Jesus with you.
song number 165, Mandri Soli Paro. Mandri Soli Bible reading. The chosen part from the Holy Bible for the first Bible reading is taken from 
Psalm number 22, verses 22 to the last. I will declare your name to my people. In the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All your descendants of Jacob, honor him. Revere him, all your descendants of Israel. For he has not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my words. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation will bow down before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord and he rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim his righteousness, declaring to a people yet unborn, he has done it. Amen. I'd like to call Reverend Sujata for the second Bible reading. The chosen part for the second Bible reading is taken from Psalm 115, verses from 1 to 15. O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but do not speak, eyes, but do not see. They have ears, but do not hear, noses, but do not smell. They have hands, but do not feel, feet, but do not walk, and they do not make a sound in their throat. Those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord, He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord, He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has remembered as He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both the small and the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. For worship choruses, let us sing Psalm number 140 B.
short meditation let us turn our pages to Psalms 119 verses 105 to 112. As we've read these verses before I'd like to emphasize on verses 105 where it says your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. If we have ever carried a Latin but these days we don't see Latins much we see torch even torch where it's similar to old time Latin where in the dark path we use a light to show us the path. Here the light is very similar to God's guidance. It talks about God's guidance in our life. And here where it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet. And if we have ever walked in a dark place with a torch in our hand, we can understand that when we hold a torch in the dark, dark path, we see we can only take a step, few steps, we won't be able to see the whole destination, only the short destination as through the light passes through. Just like that we see here, uh, it shows the light as much as we can move forward and when we go forward it shows a little more further. That's what the torches or in the old time, the Latins, they are used to show those path, just little by little, they won't show the whole path. But when we see here, where this writer emphasizes on, your word is the light to my path. Here, in nowadays, in dark time, we use torch. But in our spiritual life, what is our light? It is not about the torch, it's not about the Latin, but it is the word of God. And we see many Christians have walked this path with the Lord for a very long time, and they are assured of reaching their destination. There are some who have not reach their destination because they become upset when they come across some risky part and when they come across some dangers or some pitfalls they see on their paths. As we read these verses before, we need to understand how much God leads us when we depend on Him. When we see in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6, the writer says here in Proverbs, he says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. He goes on to say, in all your ways we need to acknowledge Him and He shall direct our paths. We have a path, but if we don't have a light, it is no use to cross the path. But here, we carry the light. The light is the Word. So when we have this Word, what's the next step to do? It should direct our paths. But that is, how is that possible? It is only possible when we acknowledge our God in everything that we do and we need to trust in Him. And we even see David records this verse, I mean in what we see in Proverbs where the writer emphasizes us to trust in the Lord and we should acknowledge Him in all our ways. When we do that, He will direct our paths. And here we see how David records this promise in Psalms 32 verse 8. Where he records the promises and he says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. We see the affirmation from God, how God leads us. It's not just like torch where we see the light, but where we see here God will instruct us. and. He will teach us and He will show us the way that we need to go. And He will guide us with His eye. And it's not just like uh, telling a little kid, I will watch over you. It's not that. When we have our God who can see all things, He means it. And when we depend on Him completely and when we acknowledge Him, we will see the benefits of it. But when we lack it, we may lose it. And if we refuse to worry about tomorrow and trust in God for today, each and every day, if we trust in Him, we will find His grace. And if we stop to worry about tomorrow and if we start to 
trusting in God for every day, even today and even the coming days. If we start to trust in Him, we will see His grace and we will also see His guidance in our life. And each and every step we take, He will guide us when we acknowledge Him and when we trust in Him. And when we use this Word of God as our light to our path. And He will guide us in the path that we go. And we no need to see anything beyond what God doesn't show us. Each and every step, small step, as through the light passes, going little by little, we see His grace in our life. And when He guides us, we'll have enough light for us to, path, to go through this path. And it will be wonderful if we are being directed by Him. Let us keep our God as a director, as our guidance, where He will show us each and every new path that we need to take. And all that we need to do is not to refuse Him. All that we need to do is only to trust Him and acknowledge Him in our, all our ways. And to acknowledge Him and to trust in Him in everything that we do. Amen. Let us sing song number 178 to the Umage in Sonata. Nita 
sacrament for the closing prayer and benediction. Our most precious Heavenly Father, we praise and thank Thee for this wonderful hour of the moment. Thank you all for this wonderful day. What a grant in your life to come before the presence and worship Him. As we gather to hear, we pray to report, Lord, thank you, Lord, for added blessing. Thank you, Lord, for the manifestation among us. Thank you, Lord, for interaction with us, the, the Word of God through the uh, servant, Reverend Rick and Susan. As we pray to report, Lord, you made clear to us that your Word is the light of our heart, our Father. Help us to put our trust in you in every circumstance situation in our life. Be with us and guide us in the coming each and every day, every hour, every moment. Lord, let your spirit be our strength and guidance in your life. Be with us, guide us, and lead us in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we do pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, all my human being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forgive not all his name.